is there any potential for for any outgoings today? Um, only only with the young players, um, Jazz Jazz Goundry, um, back to Bridlington. Yeah, uh, I think that's that's happened. Yeah, so that, that that got announced. I yesterday. don't know. Has that been announced? It was announced I, sorry, yesterday. I, I was going to say I don't. I, I hadn't seen it. Yeah, other than that one, no, it will be. Uh, that'll be it. So we we know where we're at today, I guess, um, for definite, and um, you know, get on with the remainder of the season. Are you happy with where your squad is heading into the final ten games? With the squad, sorry, you just yes. broke up slightly. Yeah, for the last ten games. Yeah. yeah, look, I think you always like think, oh, I could have done with just that one, or. But the reality is we've got, um, I think, cover in, in all areas. And, you know, now it's about giving absolutely everything. It always is. But the reality is we're now into a, the last 10 games, uh, starting with Saturday against Dagenham. And we've got to do as much as we can on our side of it to, to accumulate the points we need to, you know, get in those playoffs. It's still extremely tight. Um, you know, the other night was a disappointment in terms of, of the result. But, um, you know, I just want to see not even a response, to be honest, because I don't think it was, you know, it's not like we played really badly and it's like where, you know, we need to be loads better. But you, we just need to do enough in games to make sure we're taking something from them. And that, unfortunately, we discussed it. That's been, in my view, like honestly, I think we should have more points than we've got, but we haven't. So there's something somewhere that's not quite adding up. And I think, to be fair, as opponents at the weekend, when you look at um, some of the indicators or things that are measured in performance, Dagenham are lower down. They score very highly on a lot of, uh, like I said, the indicators, uh, but of a bit lower down in the league than than that would suggest. So we know it's going to be a tough game. We've got some good players, uh, as always, and a team, again, that's expecting to be fighting to be promoted. So it's, you know, it looks a big game. There's no getting away from that. Um, but, you know, I want the players to be looking forward to the challenge. That's what they've got to. We've got to embrace it. We can't fear it. Um, and try and make sure we come out the right side of the result this weekend. Um, in terms of your, your team news for the weekend, then obviously Michi FT went off on Tuesday. What's the diagnosis with him? He's been for a scan this morning. Um, we're awaiting the scan results. Shouldn't be too much longer, to be honest. Um, but Michi, while certainly not a medical expert, far from it, um, it's the opposite hamstring to what he'd done previously. So in general, I think we'd all take that as, as a positive. And hopefully he's right in his thinking because he's got had something to compare it to. He doesn't feel that it's certainly as bad. Um, but all I would say is from the experience, not me having a hamstring injury, but obviously working in football, I think most times if a player comes off, probably the best, case scenarios 10 to 14 days I would imagine I'd be delighted if it's not and it's quicker um, but I, th I would have thought it would be the uh, best case for us So definitely not this weekend? No, no Any other new injuries from Tuesday night? No, all good um, you know I think just saying the, the schedule and time of season, everything it often is anyway, but certainly at this point, more about just recovery um, than real training ahead of um, the weekend. And we've got probably a, a mix of players in terms of a few that played a lot of games and a few that maybe have just come back that need the rest rather than more work. So they can hopefully, um, you know, be ready for selection again at the weekend. Do you take comfort in the fact that obviously some of the teams around you have dropped points as well as you did on Tuesday night with, um, like, for example, Boreham would have only won one in eight, I think it is, for example. And there, there are, when there's so many teams going for those places, they are going to take points off each other. Yeah, and I kind of, I guess I'd said that all along. And the, again, that's not trying to be smart. It was just looking at, at people's fixtures and, 
when there were so many games left without even having to look at them, it's probably inevitable that they're going to be facing each other at some point, a lot of them. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't say I take comfort from it. I would, I'm pleased. Um, but at the same time, you know, we've got to try and take care of ourselves more than anything. Um, all I, I think I've kind of said in the past is you, whatever result we do get, you then you are looking at others because that's nature. I, I'd be, you know, sometimes when you oh, I don't look at the people's results. Like, that's a bit stupid because you're not going to know where you are in the league. Um, so, yeah, of course you have a look at it. I do think, I genuinely believe, I don't can't remember if I said it to yourself earlier the other day, but looking, watching games in general, you know, I think you can tell, you could almost, I could hazard a guess at what stage we're at in the season. Um, and I think that's ultimately throwing up some of these results. A lot of the performances I'm seeing aren't as good from teams as it was earlier in the season, when everyone's fresh and enthusiastic and, you know, the, the pitches play slightly different. Um, but I would say just the physical demands are what I, I think you're witnessing. Um, in, in truth, I think we've done all right at that. You know, the, the obviously what we collect and look at, we've done all right. And maybe I'm being biased and I, I in some ways I don't really care if they're rubbish games and we win. It's kind of, we're at that point. But I do feel like our games have been actually pretty good games in comparison to some, not all, but in some I'm watching. Uh, you know, some teams look like they, you know, really are, finding it difficult at this moment in time. Um, hopefully we can kick on. Have you, do you think your substitutes have made enough of an impact when they've come on at times this season? I think we've had some good spells. It's funny, I was uh, discussing this with someone earlier. Um, I think we've had some good spells where they have. And I, I can remember a couple of occasions actually being stood in the dressing room and said, you know, praising the substitutes for their impact. Um, it's uh, kind of done it myself. I think most players would say they would rather start than come off the bench. Um, it's not always easy, but at the same time, I think, you know, that's what you're there for. And I, I still use the word subs, you've just used it there. I know some people, like the, the kind of, I think it came from rugby, maybe finishers because it's deemed as a better word. Um, but you are part of it and you've got to be ready to be called on, whether it's through injury, whether it's through game situation, just fresh legs, whatever it is. Um, and I think probably the last couple of games, I, I, I'd, I'd be with what you've just said and think you probably haven't. I know you didn't quite say that, but I think that's what you're intimating and I'd agree. Um, again, it's not easy. And I'm not saying it's particularly through anything other than it just hasn't quite happened. But, you know, you have to be ready. And, you know, the idea is to go on and make that difference. So then you might be in, your, you know, my mind to start the next game or to, you know, 100% you're going on you the first sub. I might put you on earlier, whatever it is. Um, yeah, we could have done with a little bit more impact. I guess in comparison the other night there, lag goes on and scores two. And again, look, sometimes that just happens. Uh, but that's clearly something that would be delighted to happen from, from one of our players. Dagenham coming up this weekend. It was a bit of a strange game at their place where you obviously pulled level and then the red card sort of influenced the game as well. What what yeah. sort of challenges will they pose you? Um, I think you just said that they are all rank highly on a lot of um, points that you would look at and want to be doing well on. I think they're a good side. Um, I just can remember speaking to a manager that's uh, in the league above and had watched quite a few games. Um, and we were speaking about teams at the top of our league and he felt that Dagenham looked kind of pretty much the best team at that point. Now, admittedly, that was pre-Christmas, etc. Um, but thought that some of the players that they are in the way that they open the game up in, in the system that they play were, were difficult to play against. And I think we, you know, we found that we tried a system there to um cause them problems. 
didn't quite work. I don't think we were in the best shape at that point. And again, that's not an excuse. That's me being truthful. Um, but then, to be fair, we, we got ourselves back in the game and ended up with John's sending off. That uh, I think the, we started on the front foot, started second half. I think their first attack, they scored. And then John sent off, I think, or was it his second goal? And then John sent off. But clearly that then has an influence on, on the game. Um, but yeah, I think they're a team that, similar to us, started off really well, then taped off a bit, had some injury concerns and, and uh, well, injuries to deal with. Um, and look like the key. I'm sure if, if you're Daryl, you would want that run to be a bit better, but keep winning enough games to uh, keeping them on the fringes of it. Um, obviously, want to get in there the, the same as, as, as we do.